Hi guys, it's me Daisy on camera again. I'm starting this new vlog series uh, where I want to share with you my journey to opening up a shop, my own shop. Um, literally starting from nothing. So hopefully maybe to inspire you, motivate you. I enjoy watching this type of content. So yeah, let me know if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. I'm happy to share my process with you guys. And so it's been on my heart and my mind for some time now about this shop and so i'm just gonna go for it if there's one thing i learned last year is that life is very short and so i'm gonna go for it um so one thing i've already done is i went i actually walked into one of our local banks and we are going to um sorry i set up an appointment to open a business bank account they told me that all I needed was some sort of tax ID, which is like a social or an ITIN number. And um, if the business is under my name, since I don't have an actual like creative name yet, I don't have a business license yet. Um, I just figured I'm going to go in, meet with the banker, see what they tell me, if I can just put my name and uh, tax ID and see if I can deposit some funds um, to kind of get it started, to kind of get myself organized. Because um, with product-based business, you know, there's gonna be expenses in buying materials. So I just wanna get myself organized um, and separate my expenses that way. So that's number one. Number two is obviously you need funds, right? So Daisy, where are you getting your funds, right? Because you see my budgets. Um, I believe in God's timing and God's signs and we had lent out some money a little over a year ago to someone and we never knew when they were going to pay back there was never a rush because um yeah there was never really a rush on it and so it just so happened they reached out earlier this week and they paid us back so i'm starting off with 382 dollars <laughs> so 382 starting this new business obviously it's not enough um i I think right now I'm going to try to get to 1500 before I start buying my, um, I'm going to buy a Cricut and before I start buying supplies and materials, um, just to make sure I, I can have enough money to buy, to get started, right? So right now it's 382 and um, I'm going to look at my business income in a couple days before I go to the bank and see if there's a couple more hundred dollars i can pull out maybe another three hundred dollars so that i would start out with three with 682 and so because i have picked up a couple more hours with uh, a client to kind of increase my income a little bit and instead of uh taking that out and using it for personal expenses i'm gonna take a leap of faith and invest it in my new <laughs> business venture so that's it it's an intro. Thanks for watching and until the next clip. So I just opened up my new bank account um, for this a new business venture here at a local bank. Um, just a reminder, this, this video is not for any like, edu like educational like finance or tax information. You always want to make sure you speak to your tax person. Um, first and anyways, but I did open up the bank account. I was able to fund um, 782 so the original 382 that I have plus 400 that um, I was able to pull from my 1099 business um, And so 782 is what I'm starting with and now I won't be able to fund it for maybe another two or three weeks I want to see if I can pull another three to four hundred then um, depending on how my 1099 business goes, but, um, for now I'm going to focus on, uh, the website, see if I can get a website going as well as, um, research, a lot of research, which honestly is my least favorite part of this whole, bu anything business wise is research. Like I just find it boring. I don't know why, but like, it's just so time consuming, I guess what it is, but I got to do a lot of research on suppliers uh, to see what will work best for my business. So anyways, um, stay tuned. Hey guys, so it's been two weeks since I filmed that last clip 
uh, from opening the bank account. So I just want to give you a quick update. Um, I've been in touch with suppliers. I started researching. I've been in contact. We've been back and forth, asked how much samples would cost, how much shipping is going to cost, trying to look at the prices um, that they offer out there. I did place a couple orders, but not too much because I don't have many uh, I don't have a big fund to work with yet, um, but they should be coming hopefully next week or the week after. And then I ordered the Cricut machine. Um, and yeah, so I'll, the next video, I'll probably show you how that looks like and such. But essentially the bank account, we started with 782, we're down to about $130. So I'm still within the 782. The good thing that I like about this bank that we bank at, it's a local bank, um, there aren't any fees. So that's huge because um, I don't know when I'll be able to fund that account uh, right now. So the fact that there's no fees because I don't have to have a certain amount of money in there or a certain amount, whatever, all these big banks usually have those rules. Um, so that's that. And then um, right now, I'm just waiting for my packages to arrive. Once my cricket gets here, I'm obviously gonna have to, you know, learn how to work the machine and all. And then hopefully, I know next week is the last week of April, so I need to focus on our May budget, kind of see where we're at for April, and then hopefully I will be able to fund this shop account, is what I'm calling it, um, again with another three to four hundred dollars. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's the update I wanted to give you guys. Sorry, all the clips are about me just talking about my process, but hopefully the next video will be more hands-on of what I'm doing. Oh, the other thing I did open, or I didn't open, is I actually applied to get a seller's permit. I'm based out of California, I'm in the Bay Area, and um, yeah, so seller's permit is required in order for your, for a shop to sell goods. And so I did that at this California website. It was actually, um, it was easy. It was like, I don't wanna say it was a quick process. It was like literally 20 minutes, let's say. And it's not something that you just wanna like, bam, bam, bam. You, they ask you a bunch of questions about the business and et cetera. And so it did take me like 15 to 20 minutes. But the good thing is that they issued the seller's permit on the spot not on the spot it was like five minutes after i submitted the application so that's that um that's all i have for today um i think in overall in terms of my progress i'm happy i know it's been two weeks and that's all i've really done in the last two weeks but at the same time i also have <laughs> my you know bookkeeping clients that i you know need to do every week and as well as i don't know if i mentioned but um i'm back in real estate i used to do real estate I took a break. I'm kind of jumping back in. So that's also kind of taking a big chunk of my time as well. So that's that. You get to see my little studio, the studio we live in. I'm from the Bay Area and my husband and I live in a, I think it's a little less than 450 square feet studio. So maybe I'll give you guys a tour next time because I do have a desk area and I need to clean it up because that's kind of where I'll take, I'll have my supplies and all. Um, and I, yeah, so maybe I'll share that next time. Okay guys, until the next video. Oh, and by the way, those who are commenting and subscribing recently, hi to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're from the Bay Area as well, let me know. I love connecting with locals, <laughs> um, you know, from the Bay Area. But if you're from California, awesome as well. And if you're not, hello. <laughs> okay, until the next time, bye.